After all the debate of where to put Lahaina's ash and fire debris, the heavy lifting starts tomorrow. Maui County and federal officials will be moving truckloads of toxic material to a new dump site at Olawalu approved by the county council last Friday. To secure the debris and keep it from going airborne, that material will be wetted down and wrapped in industrial plastic like a giant burrito. To keep the trucks moving, the county is installing a manual traffic light at the intersection of the Lahaina a bypass and Honoa Piilani Highway. The entire cleanup is expected to take most of the year. Now, the cleanup is another turning point for this town that will never be the same. More than five months after the fire, a closer look at some of the subtle changes underway. Entering Lahaina Town, the barriers are covered with colorful murals to shield the devastation behind them. Inside, Sanford Hill, who lost his home at a senior living complex, drove through famous Front Street for the first time since the August 8th deadly wildfire. All the memories that I have going back 50 years of that place are gone. He remembers Halloween parties during the 70s and the home of Fleetwoods on Front Street. But now the businesses and cottages by the sea are just remnant memories. No matter how they rebuild it, they're not going to capture what I remember Lahaina as because it's just gone. And I don't think they're gonna ever be able to capture that, the character of Lahaina again. Watching the changes in Lahaina over five months, scientists are doing regular water tests of the ocean and say last week's storm dumped more than four inches of rain. It wasn't a humongous storm, um, but it was certainly the biggest storm since the fire. And it was also from the stream gauge in Tahoma Stream was, that USGS operates, it was the biggest uh, runoff event of the year. The fact that it's falling on a highly impacted burned area really drives concerns that there's not only ash and contaminants mobilizing, but what there definitely is mobilizing is sediment. Confirmed test results aren't available yet, but environmentalists say there are some encouraging signs. And there's no doubt that that toxicity has flowed into the ocean, but I think all the work that has been done has really reduced the amount that could have just washed right in. It was visible to us that there were areas where that soil tack must have really kept the ash in place. A look at the historic banyan tree shows green is sprouting, and experts even saw a monk seal that came to rest on shore. We've seen a lot of life more recently, which is, uh, it warms your heart when you're out there. That burned chemical stench is gone, and the landscape is being prepared for another change as the historic Pioneer Mill smokestack remains standing above it all.